So let's travel nearby the uh, USAF satellite station Libya to start off this quest to find a locket. The closest location to uh, satellite station Olivia is the Thicket Excavations, and I believe we can do this part really quick as well. Um, all we really need to do here, because this is not taken over until we assist the gentleman that is here. Nice. And grab some of these goodies here. Sweet. Anyone curious about how quickly I'm lockpicking things? I am not cheating. I am just cleverly editing, conveniently editing uh, out the uh, the me possibly failing parts. <laughs> Makes things a little bit easier. So, hello, Sully Mathis. In here, keep a distance. Uh, he is a he's a raider. Hey, as looking as to earn some caps? I could use a hand here if you're all done gawking, you know. You want this pump fixed, right? Throw in a few more caps and you've got a deal. Okay, 125, but that's it. Any more and I'll just do it myself. What do you need help with? Uh, the pump isn't in top shape, but it should at least start. There must be some leaky connections flooding me out. Think you could fix them? The leaks will be underwater. Look for bubbles and you should find them. Well, let's go find them, shall we? Ah, uh, you see these, those bubbles there? Those bubbles bubbling up. There was one over here as well, yeah. So what we gotta do is fix these valves while we have a chance. There's one. Probably wanna take some Radex as well, huh? There we go. Lower that radiation a little bit. I know it's difficult to see what's actually happening, happening underwater here. Because it's dark and murky. <gasps> like most bodies of water in the game. I wish there was a way to uh, clear up the water. There might be a mod for that, actually. There was a question uh, when it came to mods and which mods I was going to be using, I think. Something to that effect. If I, if I would be using texture enhancing mods or any mods during the playthrough. And uh, no, pretty much uh, pretty much the, the simple answer to that is no. Uh, <laughs> I don't want anything that can make the game any more unstable. Um, because when the game crashes, I can lose footage that way, and I, I'm not a fan of uh, re-recording things that I've already spent time recording. So, anyway, Sully there should be some way to ah, there it is. There's what? Excuse me. That's a ticket. You do the honors. Hit that switch on the end of the pump. I believe I have a perk that I can hold up the Mylers with now. That's done. So we'll see what happens. I hope. Wait a second. Did you hear that? Stop right there! <laughs> I can tell the Myrlurgs to stop. Uh oh, uh oh, I can't stop this one. Ah, ah! It's a legendary. It's a legendary. I need to go. I'm gonna let Sully take care of that one. Oh, jeez. Why did it set me up with a legendary? That's a little unfair. Oh boy. Hopefully, using a couple of chems will make this a bit easier. And we will be switching back to the 10 millimeter just to see if we can take care of this thing. Or at the very least, cripple it. Please cripple. Please cripple. Uh, let's see. Left legs. There we go. I used one of those bits of XL. Yeah, I think he's crippled. Yes! Awesome. That makes everything a heck of a lot easier. Oh my goodness. Yeah, if you want to know when it's important to cripple something, legendary enemies in particular. Legendary Mirelurks makes them a heck of a lot easier. So now I don't even have to really worry until it gets right up in my face. But the uh, the shotgun blast got right up in its face. Violent pipe rifle. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Plus 25% damage and limb damage, but has more recoil. You know, I'm okay with that. I am definitely okay with that. And this my lurk here, ah, he's just waiting. He's just, just waiting patiently. How's it going, buddy? I made a wasteland friend. That's what I did. 
So, I think that was the only one. Sully? Sully, are you still here? I flipped the switch to that. Did that end the quest? Let me check this really quick. Uh, Sully? Oh, I think he got knocked down. He got knocked down and... Uh-oh. Uh-oh. He's suddenly mad at me again. So I guess it doesn't last. Or because of my chems wearing, wearing off. There we go. Save that crit. Because my chems wore off, it may not... May not be permanent. Until I'm able to... <laughs> he's kind of kind of rolling a bit. Uh, I don't know. I don't know what happened. Maybe it's temporary. Sully? Sully is down below. Sully. Can I talk to you? No? No? I guess I'll have to come back later. <laughs> I hope that didn't break the quest. <laughs> the Meyerlick just kind of pushed Sully into the water. So I guess I guess we'll move on. I guess we'll go to uh, yeah the satellite station next. We're also gonna equip that pipe rifle because uh, it's too decent to pass up. I think um, probably gonna need to upgrade it a little bit. I think um, before it's actually effective, like more effective than my uh, pipe pistol or shotgun. But uh, yeah, certainly going to be a viable weapon for at least the the beginnings. Um, but I am going to try my best to <laughs> threaten as many as we can anyway. Um, but that that was pretty fun. I was thinking about adding, uh, even though my, my character is not a perception-based character, I was thinking about getting uh, a couple ranks in pickpocket when I have the opportunity, just so I can uh, toss some grenades, toss some live grenades into people's inventory for funds. Because I think I, I really enjoy doing that to people. <laughs> To NPCs, especially NPCs that are uh, unaware of my presence, or that I've held up with my weapon, because I'm going to be, of course, doing that a lot. Stop right there! Nope, that didn't work. I think, uh, yeah, you're not gonna be a problem. Nope, nope, nope. Aha! Aha! Uh oh, load flies. That was fun. Oh, jeez. That was amazing. Okay, who else is here? Who else wants some? Let me see if I can loot this. Can I loot this raider? Um, somebody's up there. This is pretty exciting already. I would say so. Anyway. Hello? <laughs> Hello up here. Might be a dog. Yep, that is an attack dog. I can't pacify it. Oh, that counts as an animal. That's why. Not a creature. Definitely an animal. Okay, so we got some vodka up here, some canned dog food. Understandably. Now we can go into the into the satellite station. See what kind of trouble we can find ourselves in now. After we heal ourselves up a little bit and remove some radiation. Alright, that wow. Wow. It's been a long time since I see since I've seen uh, healing items act that quickly. Oh, oh, that's an armor workbench. I was hoping for a weapon one. Gosh darn it. Alright. Alright, so that didn't go terribly well. Uh, in case you missed it, let's let's do a little a little recap on how this went so far. As you can see, that uh, this hasn't this hasn't gone well. Died three times already in this in this area. I decided not to include that footage in particular because um, it would take about 10 minutes <laughs> to show me just dying over and over and over and at that point I don't I don't think that's too terribly entertaining so we're gonna do the uh, the successful run through of this hey. 
and see if we can't. Uh-oh. Man, these guys are brutal. Just impact that. See if we can't get a good shot. Oh, we do have a crit. Yes. <laughs> Got to use those crits carefully. Okay, let's see if we can get back back behind here. Oh, here comes the dog. Come here, dog. Right in the face. <laughs> Got to be strategic with this now. That I want to use some more. Uh, uh, uh. There we go. There we go. Headshots. Headshots. <laughs> so how many do we have here? Can I peek? I can't peek over. I wish I could. But there's no such luck. Okay, so we, here's a spot to save, just in case we do die. We don't have to. We don't have to go all the way back. To back. Part of me wishes I could use the flare gun in here. But oh, hmm, hmm. It's really hard to tell where these enemies are at. Stop right there. Oh, we got one. We got one. See who else. Don't move. Oh, there's the minigun. There's the minigun. Oh boy. <laughs> Here she comes. Here she comes to wreck our day. Take that, Raider. You're almost He was having trouble. I don't wanna die, Ak Ak. That is your name. Uh there we go. Right in the face. And we run away. <laughs> and we use a stim pack. I hope she's not getting any closer. Shotgun. I feel like I've done this before. <laughs> I hope they're not coming up coming up behind me. There we go. That's enough of that. Peeking. Ha ha ha! Got her. Oh, wow. Okay. So we've got a minigun we can use. Can we carry it, though? I think we can. Can we hold up other people with a minigun? I think so. Is this the only guy left? Disappearing act. No, it is not. It is not the only guy left. I do want to take care of him, though. <laughs> yep. Alright, so somebody asked a cool question. My favorite drink. My favorite drink? Uh, uh, uh. <laughs> that was the last one. My favorite drink is Mountain Dew. Uh, bar none. If, if any of you have, have seen the, uh, the democracy, the vote on the, uh, the new flavor. Which flavor did you pick? Uh, you pick uh, Baja Blast or Pitch Black? Okay, that's that's where the locket is. So let's take care of this raider here. Bye bye. I know I'm I'm totally just executing these raiders, but uh, they killed uh, Abernathy's daughter, so I feel like it's it's just just fair enough. They executed her. I treat them treat them the same. There's the locket. Okay. Got it. One of the cool questions is. Uh, should Bethesda do something with the Midwest Brotherhood? This is the Brotherhood of Steel that is in... Oh, good gas leak. Or oil puddle. Legendary Rad Roach. Oh, it's it's twitching a bit. Okay. Powered leather right arm. I'm okay with the re refresh speed. Let me quit that really quick. And I dropped the minigun because I don't need it. Okay, so the Midwest Brotherhood of Steel is pretty... Uh, I, I guess not not too terribly interesting. They do have technology that that was uh, reflected in Fallout 4, and that would be the um, the Pridwin, the blimp. Um, there there was uh, a couple of blimps that the Midwest Brotherhood of Steel uh, used to fly over the mountains in Fallout Tactics, and uh, they they became separated after they went down, which was pretty 
Yes. Pretty cool of a premise, if if I remember remembering it correctly, and then also having the ability to uh, drive vehicles around on the battlefield. That was also cool. The only Fallout that was able to do that. Um, let's see. Oh, we got the military grade circuit board. We can get a fusion core here. Awesome. I don't know. I don't know uh, if Bethesda could do something with the with the Midwest Brotherhood of Steel, but it would be kind of cool um, if they went just completely tyrannical or even if they joined up with uh, Maxon's Brotherhood. Even that would be cool, I think. So now we got to check the um, the intel room. I think that's that's the only spot we have left to check in here. There's a bear with the uh, cigar in its mouth. Terminal stuff is locked. There we go. That's it. All right. And we we got a few extra pipe weapon parts and the yes covert operation manual. Tiptoe through the tulips. I like the titles of these. They're actually pretty entertaining. Oh, I am carrying too much and cannot run. Got to drop something. And we've decided to level up here, uh, and we're going with Grim Reaper's Sprint, because everybody loves having a chance of getting all of their action points back. So that's what we went with. And we we had, uh, yeah, we wanted to even it out, because I got Lone Wanderer, Wasteland Whisperer, and Intimidation. So we want to split it up fairly evenly between Charisma and Luck. So that's what we're going with. And we dropped a few things. Just a couple, couple one or two things. And now we can head back to Abernathy Farm to turn in this quest. Actually, I think before we do that, we're going to head over to Starlight Drive-In, see what we can uh, clear out there for a potential settlement. Um, and we will be running by the Thicket Excavation, so we'll be able to see if Sully Mathis is done uh, drowning <laughs> so we can turn the quest into him. Because uh, one of the Mirelurks, yeah, one of the Mirelurks decided to push him into the water, and that was rude. <laughs> So, Sully, Sully, please be out of the water. It looks like he is. He's done swimming around. Good. We got a radiation storm going on right now. Hmm. Did your quest. What if I redirect the flow through here? What? You're talking about soup? Hey, Meyer looks. I guess I shouldn't be surprised that stirred him up. Anyway, I still got some tinkering to do on this thing. Shouldn't be too hard now, though. Thanks for pitching in. Here's a little something before you clear out. Hey, thanks, man. He was making puns. You guys catch that? <laughs> he's like stirring him up while he's stirring his soup. Good job. Good job, Sully. Way to be a funny guy. Uh, probably can't go that way. Oh, man. You guys know about the... Uh, the I could have gone to the junkyard, too, I think. Or is that a little further west? I don't remember. I don't remember some of the areas. I do have the map up on my wall. I can suppose I can just look. Uh, yep. Yep, I missed it. It was to the west of uh, uh, Satellite Station Olivia. But we can go there later. It's the, the car, the junk junk pile. Oh, I forget the name. It's where you get the, the prototype, where you get access to the prototype secure uh, sentry bot. <laughs> I almost said Securitron again. I'm gonna try to get out of that habit. Securitrons are only in Fallout New Vegas. Oh, what a lovely place! What a lovely day. One of the more interesting, more insightful questions, and I'm sure you guys can, can contribute to this too. What restrictions do you think there's going to be on uh, console users or console players and the mod access? Because I know mods have already come out for Xbox. And um, uh, from what I could tell, that there is there is a limitation on how much space can be taken up with mods. Uh, I think it was like two gigs or something like that. And that still is quite a bit when it comes to uh, you know, modding and how much space mods take up. I think that the most space intensive mods I had were, uh, were all texture mods. <laughs> because when you do like mechanical, ooh, flying car, okay. <laughs> when we're talking about like mechanical mods, um, yeah, oh, oh, rabid mole rat. When we're talking about mechanical mods, yeah, they don't take, take up much space. When it comes to, like, the extra textures and meshes and stuff like that, that's when mods start taking up a lot of, uh, a lot of, uh, space on your system. 
What's what's going on over here? Is that oh, okay? I was gonna say, is that mole rat stuck? No. Yeah, I wasn't. I wasn't able to uh, to tell those mole rats to freeze because um, I don't have the animal friend. I think. And always pick up that bottle cap mine because it will go off.